I peed myself. That was awesome. That was so awesome. It was rocking awesome. It was beyond awesome. The best show I've ever seen in my life. I loved how they just stopped in the middle of it and really <coughs> praised God and let the focus remain on Him. Jesus is the way. I just know Jesus is the truth. I just know Jesus is the life. I just know Jesus is my God. Jesus Freak is someone who loves Big JC so much. You just you just want to scream because he's such a great guy. He can do anything for you. He can make anything possible. That you just don't care what people think. You just kind of go wild for Jesus. Like you don't care what people like what people say about you and stuff. So, yeah, what people think you're a freak. I mean, I have a trucker hat. It's freak on it. I'm Jesus Freak all the way. Creation Festival back in 1979 uh, in the East. We uh, came out here in 1998 uh, to hold the first Creation West Festival. And in the East we run about 75,000 people. Uh, out here we run around 20,000 or so per day. Back in uh, the 70s and actually the late 60s there was uh, what we call the Jesus Movement where a lot of uh, young people who were involved in drugs and the hippie culture and that kind of thing came to uh, uh, salvation in Christ and began to write contemporary Christian music. Kids really uh, that were getting saved in those years really wanted to know the truth and they didn't want to just churchianity you know they didn't want to just come and sing a hymn and go home my son stayed in the church because of striper <laughs> And he was a teenager who was ready to, you know, kind of give up this church stuff. And then Striper came out, and he stayed in it because of that. And so I said, well, you know, great. He had the long hair, he had the pierced, such and such. And we picked our battles, and that young man is working with youth in church now. He got through it. <laughs> Thank God for Striper. <laughs> I just got on this year, um, it's been going for about four years, King & King Skateboard Ministry, mm -hmm. and I got in, on in May, mm -hmm. and so we've been just traveling ever since. The reason we come here is so that kids can get saved, mm -hmm. you know, and um, not every kid's going to get saved every time, but, um, you know, you plant seeds. The skateboarding is just, it's just an attraction, you know, like, just people come and they see it, and then we get that opportunity to speak the word, so if it wasn't for Christ, we wouldn't be doing any of this at all. Mm -hmm. I don't. This is my first time to a Christian concert. Oh, okay. What do you think? I thought that band that played over there was pretty good earlier. If I can understand what he's saying, maybe it actually penetrate, but... <laughs> I can understand a little bit, but I'm too busy moshing around and trying not to get my head hit off by a bunch of Christian guys waving their hands around. I mean, I've been to some pretty hardcore stuff, you know, and I, I just think that maybe rock 
rock music doesn't have its place in Christian religion. But that, I'm not a Christian, so I really don't care. <laughs> well, I've been living my life for Christ for about a year now. Mm -hmm. I was in a Christian home, born in a Christian home, and my parents were kind of boring Christians. And me and my brother kind of let's have some fun, you know? And like, be Christians when we're like 50, when we can't have fun anymore, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Something like that. And so I tried to do it on my own, and it wouldn't work, dude. And like, I finally just decided to give Christ my life, give him my skateboarding, and he's blessed it. Truth, I'm trying to find God, but I don't, it's hard to believe him. <laughs> I don't know, how, I, I have a hard time believing in something that isn't helping me out. Deal. I think everybody needs Jesus, you know what I'm saying? How many people y'all, how many people here love Jesus? I said, how many people here love Jesus? Amen. Jesus to me, he was probably the most ultimate radical guy. I mean, okay, say the whole thing isn't even real. To have the claim that I'm going to come to the world and die on the cross for every person in the whole world, I want to follow that guy. Nevertheless, if it's real or not, which it is real, but man, what a claim, you know? What a severe guy. My name is Nathan, aka Nay Daddy. My Christian name is Solomon Olds, but you guys can call me the Soul Glow Activator. But to me, it just doesn't make as much sense to be, you know, always banging people over the head inside the church and just keeping on banging every church and everywhere you go, you know, because the people who need Jesus, you know, most of them, or a lot of them at least, aren't inside church, you know? I don't know. I, I'm trying. I tried to go to church today, but it's, I went there and I was like, not a single person was there. It's just a bunch of old people. And I, was, I was just like, oh man, I, I can't do this.